primal Shinto is return to the earliest form of Shinto and the earliest forms of the precursor of religion. It is a spirituality that is primal and representing what existed before all the organized religions existed. It would, it, this is a form of Shinto before Shinto. Basically, it is old. And we want to clarify something. If people ask, who is the leader? Do you anoint yourself as a godman? No. And I'm going to be very clear. Um, I'm going to take, I'm taking my communism into my religion. Let's repeat, I'm taking my Marxism into my religion, anti-money. So no, I, I will never appoint myself as God-man and say, um, I have some type of secrets, you need to sign up for my classes, and if in return I will give, you, you pay me tuition, and I give you spiritual lectures. So it's very important to represent communism, my communism, in my Shinto. I'm going to be very clear about that. Just like I carry my Marxism to social media and where I, I oppose the idea of making money on social media. I absolutely oppose it. So, Primal Shinto, if, if you're asking, okay, where's the leadership? Who is the hierarchy? Who's going to be the Pope? Who's going to, who do, you know, basically, you know, how do you sign up for lessons? Your, your whole thinking is twisted by religion. If, 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 you're, if you think you need to give money to a teacher or a lord, your whole thinking is twisted by religion. You're not, you're basically, if you're thinking in terms of making money, you know, basically in, in terms of religion, your whole thinking is twisted. You don't have a place in primal Shinto until you take off your rip off your tie burn your suit and tie take off your underwear throw it into the fire except don't get arrested for public nudity but it's figuratively to do primal shinto you must discard all this nonsense to do primal shinto you must strip down in the nude not literally this is not this is not some strange sex cult okay but you must spiritually strip out your underwear down to the underwear and burn it spiritually. By all means, wear clothes in public. So, but the other point, I want to talk about LGBTQ. Um, in, in both my primal Shinto and also in Sanatan Hindu Dharma, there is people have inborn nature. Some people are born predominantly straight. I am, you know, basically, um, you know, basically, mostly straight, 80% probably, maybe 20% gay, I think. I think I have 20% gay tendencies because I, you know, if, if I see a man that's attracted to me, I might pursue that man. But so, 80%, I'm 80-20, right? But there's people who are, pre, you know, if you're predominantly gay, that, that's fine in my primal center. If you're predominantly straight, if 80% of time, if you're a man, you predominantly straight like me, 80% of the time you're into women, 20% of the time you maybe you're not, um, or basically you might be 99% straight, 1%, you know, whatever, but basically, or there's, there's different degrees, okay, you're mostly straight, you're mostly gay, that's all fine, so there's a spectrum, right, so let's just say, uh, you're, you're bisexual, that's fine too, um, but basically, there's there's an inborn nature, so there's no, so I'm not going to play the gender game. What is what is the idealized gender? So you're born into as you are, okay, and that's just that's part of nature, no different than anything else. There's a basically so if so what you are if you're predominantly straight, you're predominantly straight. If you're predominantly gay, you're predominantly gay, and that's just fine, um, you know. Or if you're situationally um, you know, basically, I'm, you know, basically, if, if I see a BTS boy, Jungkook, all right, I'm going to say, all right, uh, you know, situationally, I'm more attracted to men 
than I am to women, but situationally, situationally, that makes me situationally more gay than straight.